right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for five rounds of action. Coming out of the 115 pound weight class. This is full rules Muay Thai. Now fighting out of the red corner tonight, she's wearing the red, white, and blue trunks, weighing in at 116. She represents Tampa Muay Thai with a record of eight and eight from Tampa, Florida, Jillian Bussardet. And fighting out of the blue corner, she's wearing the bronze trunks and weighing in at 116. She represents the Watt with a record of six and two from Brooklyn, New York, Amy Duke. Okay, fighters, both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. And if I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. All right, we're set to go as we roll on on Facebook. You're watching Friday Night Fights live from New York City at 10.30 p.m. Eastern. Folks, make sure to switch over to UFC Fight Pass for the main part of our card. Five big fights coming your way at that portion of the fight, but still plenty of business left to tend to here. This and three more fights after this before we get to UFC Fight Pass. Phil Nurse, some final words for his fighter, Amy Duke, as we get set for action here at 115 pounds. A little bit of last second nerves here, perhaps, for Amy Duke, Jason Strout? Uh, yeah, maybe. Just, you know, just get a little anxious getting in the ring. It's her first appearance on Friday Night Fights. As we mentioned a moment ago, Jill Bosser did a veteran. I think you think of a lot of things before the bell rings. You're thinking of this and that and what ifs. Then the bell rings, it all goes away, and you just do it. Joe Bossard getting used to taking the trip up from Tampa to New York. This is our fifth appearance here on Friday Night Fights. Always puts on a good show. We'll see what she has in store tonight against Amy Duke. Jill wearing the red, white, and blue ensemble. Amy Duke in the kind of golden brown trunks with the black top. We're scheduled for five rounds here. This is full rules Muay Thai at the Class B level. Elbow pads, of course, being worn. We expect to see some elbows from both of these young ladies. Clash of the shins, that doesn't feel good. See, Amy keeps trying to attack that front leg. I'd like to see her use her rear leg. They don't get a lot of power off that front kick. A little faint there by Jill and comes forward with the left hand, tries the spinning back elbow, but Duke got there first. Nice combination there by Amy Duke, capped off with an outside leg kick. Joe Bosterdet going inside. And we're live on Facebook, folks. This is Friday Night Fights. Our season opener for 2019, the longest running Muay Thai series in North America. Bringing you the best of Muay Thai and kickboxing in the country. I like how Jill's kicking the inner leg of the southpaw fighter. Kind of taking a little steam off from punches and kicks kind of measuring her, and then you can see she's trying to maybe set it up for a high kick. Keeps chopping, Amy. chopping, chopping. See, there was the high kick, but he threw it a little too early. You gotta get him to kind of bait on that inside leg kick, get him to kind of feel it, worry about it, and then that head kick will show up. Nope, knock right, the contact out. A straight kick right down the middle, finds the front of Duke's face, and then an elbow got inside there as well for Jill Bosserdet. Really good moment for her. As soon as that kick landed, Amy Duke's eyes started to tear up. That was a tremendous moment there for Jill Bosser that might have turned the round right at the last second there. And Phil Nurse, the legendary fighter in his own right, almost leaped completely out of the ring. He was on the outside of the ring. He tried to leap in. It's like his feet were on fire. He just, that was unbelievable. Whoo. Right up and, and over the, the shot ropes. right there. That was that big kick down the middle. And then an inside elbow moments later landed for Jill Bosterdet, and that might have stolen the round for her if she wasn't winning it already. Right there, that yeah, caught Duke's it, attention. I think it might have knocked the contact loose. Oh, that's what that was. It was not a tear, it was the contact. You're right. She was wearing glasses at the weigh-in, Jason Stratt. You're absolutely right, that's what it was. It was the contact lens. Great call. That's why we have the experts at ringside, folks. Could spot those contacts anywhere. 
Jason Strout, the head coach at the Church Street Boxing Gym, just a few blocks from where we are right now, the Broad Street Ballroom in New York City. As we watch Joe Bosserdet and Amy Duke go at it live on Friday Night Fights. Round two of a scheduled five at 115 pounds. Bosserdet in the red, white, and dark blue. Amy Duke in the golden brown and black top. Straight right gets in for Duke. Opening moments of round two here. I'd like to see Jill just keep using that front leg kick. It looks like when she throws her punches, she kind of forces them and kind of falls into it, kind of pushes her punches. Doesn't really have much of a snap on them. Both of these young women, 28 years of age, boss her dead at a slight height disadvantage, three inches. She gives up three inches to Duke. She is 5'4". So Amy that, Duke is 5'7". Was that two points for the takedown, or was that uh, <laughs> And she mounted her from behind, I think. Got our, got our disciplines confused there for a moment. I wasn't sure. Looks like she was going to even elbow her in the back of the head. There. That was a nice touch. It's like the cherry on the Sunday. Pop. Bosserdet comes down the middle once again. See what I mean? She kind of With pushes that leg. right hand. She, well, Jill's pushing that right hand instead of snapping it. Kind of comes forward. Nice dump there by Jill Bosserdet. She timed the left leg of Amy Duke and then threw Duke down to the canvas. Good moment there for Jill. And again, she's seeing that space in the guard of Amy Duke. Jason, she's trying to exploit that gap between the gloves of Amy Duke. She definitely is, but I, I wouldn't recommend just running straight in. And there's a shot from Amy Duke landing and drawing ooze and ahs from the crowd. There we go. I like how she slid in with that block. Takes away that front kick, and then she closes the distance. But when she gets in, she used to stay in and do damage. Like, she gets in, and then Jill bounces back out. Like. Take away the taller fighter's range, just get in. You did all that work to get in, stay in. Now stay in there instead of backing up. You see that? I see a lot of people do that on pads sometimes. They'll kick the pads, then they bounce away. You gotta get used to coming forward and staying in. If you're gonna get in, you do all that work, stay in. These two women trading leather as we come down the stretch in round number two. Little left-legged tee for Jill Bosserdet to cap off the second round. Phil Nurse once again flying into the ring. Professional kickboxer Joe Miller also in Amy Duke's corner tonight. But she's under fire right now from Jill Bosserdet. Another face kick right there on our replay. And Bosserdet has found a home with that left foot so far in the first two rounds. And there was that dump, Jason. A really good moment for Jill there, too. Yeah, she landed pretty heavy on her back there. That's the kind of thing you don't feel until tomorrow morning. You're like, what What happened back there? Amy and you watch the replay and you see that you landed on your back. Amy Duke did kind of fight back towards the end of that second round. But one of the things that judges look for, Jason, kind of the, the, the damage being done to the opposing fighter, you just see a lot more redness and a lot more distress, yeah. it seems like, on Amy's face right now than Jill's. I just think they're fair skinned. It's cold out and things show up. Also a factor, yes. Jill still calls Florida home, and Amy, unfortunately, has left the Sunshine State behind, dealing with a brutal winter so far in New York. I like how Amy Foster. Duke is using that leg to kind of shut down the clinch on the inside. Foster dead on the attack right now. In the clinch, this is a full rules Muay Thai matchup. I like to see when they're in the clinch, and I like to see them being patient, where they're not just throwing knees or rubbing their thighs up. And they're actually trying to set things up turning, making distance to find the, the best knee possible. Again, folks, coming up at 10.30 p.m. Eastern time, switch over to UFC Fight Pass for the main portion of our card. The main event of the evening will be Travis Clay and Eric Luna. Well, that will be the fifth of five fights to be featured on our main card right here. The second of five fights on our undercard, Amy Duke and Joe Bosserdet. Round three of a scheduled five inside leg kick. There that was for again, Jill. the inside leg kick, and then she backed off. So you want to see Jill follow up on that? I would like to. I'd like to see her throw it, throw it again, maybe throw it up to the body. You know, double that kick up. The first one lands on the inside of the leg, then I'll throw the second one to the body and then work my way up with that kick. You can He's see her looking at it. Right in the center of the ring, Duke squaring off with Bosser dead. There it is now. Every time, every time. Amy puts that weight in that front leg. I just keep kicking it. Amy keeps timing Jill with the same thing. 
Every time Jill steps down, she kicks the outside of that front leg. That time Duke got an inside leg kick. And here Bosserdet's charging in. Nice and an elbow. inside elbow for Bosserdet. Second time she's gotten the elbow in there on Amy Duke. There's the bell in round three. Well, if the fighting is not entertaining enough for you, the acrobatics of Phil Nurse hopefully will satisfy. That is amazing. I think if I tried to jump over the top rope, my foot would catch. I'd land in the middle of the ring. It'd be entertaining, that's for sure. I'm going to have to try that. I'm going to have to try that next we, time. We need you on the mic, Jason Straub. You're very important to this broadcast. See right there, a strong left leg at T5 Bosser Debt. But not, well, like you said, Jason, it's been one and done a little bit. Yeah. Bastard, yeah. But, I, but we haven't seen really the counters well, from Amy Duke gentlemen, either. No, I mean, that, that, like I said, it's, you know, they're still B class fighters, they're learning. It takes to time to develop strike. that and see lucky that strike. to get the reaction time and night being comfortable there just throwing and seeing things. And sometimes it takes years before you can see things happen in the ring. Bastardette making. At least her fifth appearance on Friday Night Fights, possibly her sixth. Amy Duke, this is her first outing here on the longest that running Muay Thai combo. series Look in at North that. She didn't waste any time, jumped right in there with that straight left. Look at that. And now Duke comes out with some fire behind her. Has Bossardet a little off balance for the first time in the fight. Nice punch combination by Amy Duke. I don't know, who's, I don't know who's having fight. more fun here, Amy Duke or Phil Nurse in the corner. Now Amy Duke on the attack. That's her best sequence of the fight, I would Definitely. say. Definitely. She, she started early, and she's staying on it. Bosserdet tried to throw the elbow in. Duke adroitly moving out of the way. See, I'd like to see her keep coming instead of wait. Just go then. We're in round four of a scheduled five here. Amy Duke out of the Watt in New York City. A Florida native, as is her opponent, Jill Bosserdet. Beautiful straight left hand. Keep throwing that. It's going to land all night. Right there. Toss that hook and shoot that straight left hand down the middle. Perfect. Straight then kick. left for Duke. Perfect. Yes. Foster dead fighting her off, but Duke keeps coming. Keep really strong it. round for Amy Duke here. But a thudding inside leg kick lands for Foster Can't dead. let anything get off for free. They touch you, you got to touch Again, right back. One and done, though, as Jason Stroud has been lamenting. Right there. Right there. Beautiful. Put some steam on those punches. A big a jab got Duke off balance. Had to catch herself on the ropes, and Bosserdet gave her look like just a hair of a window to recover. Hair too long there that Jill waited. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Don't wait. And now it looks like when Jill's trying to load up with the right hand, she's getting handcuffed. Yeah, she, she's showing it a little bit too much. Final seconds of round four. Amy Duke has figured something out here in this round. Definitely has. Get off first. I mean, that's the and name of this game. Bell. You only got three rounds. There's no time for waiting. Just pick one thing you're good at. Just do it over and over and over. Phil Nurse once again flying into the squared circle to encourage his fighter after her solid fourth round. You see right there, it looked like Bosserdet was going to jump on Duke against the ropes, but it was Amy who took charge there. I'd like to see Amy keep that momentum up. I'm sure Phil's telling her in the corner to get right back on top of her. And that was a solid punch combination. I really like the good. way she threw that left hand and she stayed on balance. She didn't fall forward. She didn't fall in into Jill. She kept that distance with that straight left hand, but then he got to finish up with a strong kick or another punch. Don't look at what you did. They always say don't pose Ladies for the picture. Gentlemen. You can do that after the fight. A couple, a couple of stiff Megan knees to the midsection landing for Amy Duke as well round. in that fourth. So let's see if she can carry the momentum into our fifth and final round. Nice. Very good. Amy Duke out of the wide against Joe Bosserdet from Tampa Muay Thai. Jill with a punch combination and a teep. Get that right hand of Jill just needs to tighten up a little bit. Little stick and move for Amy Duke as she peppers the outside lead leg of Jill Bosserdet that's getting very red from the abuse. Standing a little too tall in those punches. That was a nice kick. Then do it again. 
If I was Amy Duke, I'd just fire that straight left hand and fire that left kick to the body. Just keep it simple. Again, we're live on Facebook, folks. You're watching Friday Night Fights, the season premiere of 2019. Joe Bosterdet going toe-to-toe -to -toe Waiting, with waiting, Duke. waiting. I mean, you don't have to be super aggressive, but, but you have to get off. One minute left as Bosterdet loads up with the right hand. Duke trying to turn the tables. Kevin Molal, our referee, has to break him up. You can see that Amy Duke's kind of building up momentum as the fight goes on. That fourth round may have turned the tide. Let's see if Jill can recover down the stretch. Final 40 seconds of action here. It's Still a, plenty more to come. And at 10.30 I, I, p.m., our main, of, our main portion of our card begins on UFC Fight Pass. For those of you that are just starting out in the sport watching, you can notice the percentage Nurse. of how many more straight punches land than the wide punches. Both these girls, every time they throw a straight punch, it lands straight down the middle of it. Every time it lands. Phil Nurse urging Amy Duke to come forward. She's been having su success when she does so. Bosterdet coming in for the clinch as time winds down. Looking for an elbow inside. She landed it, par partially blocked. But an excellent five-round fight between Jill Bosterdet and Amy Duke. Two young women from Florida going toe-to-toe -to -toe in NYC on Friday Night Fights. Nice job by Duke. Check blocking away the kick by Bosterdet. And finding a home with the leather. Again, Bosterdet splitting the guard with that left leg. But as Jason Strout, my broadcast partner, would comment on throughout this fight, Jill just didn't follow up enough. No. Too many one and dones there, but she did land some really solid blows, and we'll see if they accumulated enough to get her a victory on the judges' scorecards. Always a risk to leave it up to the judges. Again, this is Friday Night Fights, our 2019 season premiere, everybody. We're so glad you could join us via Facebook. And in just a little while, 10.30 p.m. Eastern, we will head over to UFC Fight Pass for the main portion of our card and the main event of which will feature Travis Clay and Eric Luna. But right now, we turn it over to Connor Hall for the official decision. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds of action, we do have a winner by split decision. Judge A sees this 48-47 in favor of the blue corner. Judge B sees this 46-49 in favor of the red corner. Judge C sees this 48-47 in favor of Brooklyn's own Amy Duke. So Amy Duke turning the tide in round number four.